This is Corin. Unfortunately, she is not able to sleep in her own bed at night at the moment. Maybe her mom can explain it. It kept happening, kept happening, um, and then she developed a bit of a limp inside her legs was sore. Again, we kind of dismissed it, growing pains. Um, she'd started swimming lessons, so it should maybe just pulled muscles. It started getting worse and worse, and during the same time she started um, getting constipated, but also soiling her shell. So again, back to A&E &E to get checked out about things. Was told, oh, it's constipation, not smacking her, feeling her hips, affecting her legs. Got um, suppositories, got um, laxatives. Eventually got nothing moving and the legs was still the same. Um, biting point was sports day at school. I got a phone call at work, come and get her. She can't walk. So, Went back to the GP and was finally sent for x-rays. The x-rays of her hips showed nothing. So nobody was sure fit to happen. The doctors every time we went kept asking the same questions about has she got a cough, has she got a No, no, no. Her hands fine. A week later, again at school, dropping her off and she said that she had chest pains. How does it look? Cute. Does it look good? Do you like it or do you not like it? Mm. How much hair have you got? Me? Well, I've got some hair. Because mm. you see that little brown bits. Mm -hmm. But my hair is brown now because it's sweet. This strong a bit of mere alarm bells, so instantly took her through the GP surgery. GP took one look at her, sent us through to Aberdeen to get x-rays because it would be quicker than the bro. So we're turned up, just for shells, thinking, oh, I'll be here a couple of hours. That was on the 4th of July. We've never been here since. The x-rays of our chest showed um, a tumour which was confirmed three days later as cancer. Wow! Wow, it's you! It's you! You didn't get him in your own bedroom? No. And how, how does that make you feel? Does it like... Does it make you feel like sad or... In fact, with your friends, we, friends at school, you didn't, have, you didn't have to see your friends at school either, no? Okay. And so like, see if in them... Um, when you, when you stay here, do you just stay alone in this room at night? So far, see her with you? Your mum's here with you? Right, and does she, she must like, uh, she must like being here with you? I think she would, I think she does. And do you ever get outside? Sometimes. Sometimes you get outside, but you have to watch for like infection and things like that, have you? Mm -hmm. And catching colds, okay. And so, uh, Rona. Corin's Hope. So if it happens with Corin's Hope, it's like, it's fundraising. It's fundraising. For Corin. Um, Corin's got stage four neuroblastoma, which is a type of cancer. So yeah. it's a tumour in her chest, spine, lymph nodes, yeah. and bone marrow. Um, she is currently undergoing chemotherapy and we've got a plan in action for the next stages of treatment but it's not guaranteed to be successful, so it could okay. mean that we might need to gain abroad for further treatment. 
So, um, obviously, if that's the case, then fundraising money would be used to pay for that. I've been stopped working because obviously I'm here 24 mm -hmm. 7 mm -hmm. every night. We've been here since the 4th of July. Wow. Um, Paul has kind of cut his hours as well because he wants to be as close to her as possible. Mm -hmm. And we've got brother Sean, um, mm -hmm. which needs to be looked after. So financially it's difficult, so it's also there to help with things like travel costs, mm -hmm. just making sure we've got anything that she needs. Um, part of our treatment's going to be in Glasgow. So again, we're going to be a bit further split up, so there's going to be a lot of travelling back and forth to Glasgow as well as the travelling in Aberdeen and things like that. And like your life, your life right now, it's, it's really, um, would it be safe to say stressful? Mm. It is. It's a bit of a routine, so it's mm. near. It's near as hard as. Well, it's it's near to say. It's near as hard as I expected it to be, but then it's probably harder than most folk think it is. Mm. Um, once you get the news, you just kind of. Life. Okay. Life kind of still. Oh, and you just okay. And if that idea, and you just get one and do it. And like with Corin, this uh, is our good days and bad days. Yeah, there's good so. days. Today is a fair. We have good days because it's really good. We're going to do the park. We're we'll even putting the pictures. Oh wow! Um, and things like that. And then the other days, we're just kind of get out of the bed for mm -hmm. either pain or sickness or. And so, how can we? Um, how can anybody get in contact with Corin's Hope? On Facebook? Okay. On Facebook, um, you can message the page. Um, there's myself and my sisters and some of their family members are admins, so we get yeah. all the different messages comes through, so it's not always a good job you'd love to do in the hell world. Did you want to be in your book? A ballerina. A ballerina? I wanted to be a ballerina and that never, <laughs> never happened for me for some reason, but right, a ballerina, I think we need to watch for Corin being a ballerina someday, that's really good. Right, so, um, that's really good. I'm really glad you've um, spoke to me. Plus you're in a good mood. You seem like a nice person. So, I was kind of nervous coming to meet Corin, but uh, I feel a lot better. Plus our mum's here, which has helped me. So, uh, thank you very much. And I'm hoping uh, every day for new one is going to be good for you. And I can maybe every day, that's not possible, but um, you've got loads of food. Have you looked up there? See that food up there? Look at food stash. That's more food than in my house. Uh, can I get a high five? Um, I was just going to ask you, how's, how's Coran been getting on? Eh, she's been doing very well. Um, eh, <clears throat> she's now finished the first kind of phase of her treatment and she seems to have had a good response so far. So, um, and how, how is it, how hard work is it to like monitor? Because obviously she's, she's quite... Um, I mean, the, treat the treatment is pretty hard going. Um, uh, this is one of, uh, of all children's cancers, this is one of the most, one, most intensive kind of um, uh, cancer treatments. But I uh, say she's, you know, she has had side effects of this, but she's tolerated it fairly well. Great. That's fine. Thank you. For disaster. For, for disaster. It's food. And we get it to the so that's just So it's it's very hard to eat. And so that connects to you doing here and then it goes through here and then there. So yeah, so that was just because look the so most people did I can fit us tubes for. So we can new, so it's for us thing, is it? And then here is like for did you your soya and fish and there's something else. Baby milk. That's it, we've got it. Thank you. I was just is it taste good? Do you taste it? Can you can you taste it? No. You don't taste anything. Oh so it's no that's a shame. I thought you would have been there. Bye. Bye. Oh, this book is just the little things that we write things in. Um every time Corin comes up with an idea or something she would like to do, Francis Fick. So, the range from little things to big things. Some will happen, some will not.
Okay, they so can be as big or as fantastical uh, as you like. CBBC? CBBC land. Oh, I've heard of CBBs. Okay. Uh, oh, Alton, Alton Tower? Mm -hmm. uh, something. Eyes? No, it's getting on ice. It's getting on ice. It's getting on ice. Uh, pra practice ba ballerina. Practice ballerina. Step, step, slip that tris, tushas. Sleep at tushas. Sleep at tushas. Uh, go to zoo. Uh, j jumbo. Brunish. Scottish balls. We're not sure what that in is. Right, okay. And then. Uh, adopt a tiger. I don't think that's a good yeah. idea. Uh, be a zookeeper for a day. <laughs> and a day. With a spider. Adopt a spider. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I do okay? Did I do okay, Cora? Is that okay? <laughs> and thank you very much, Rona, for uh, you and Cora letting us see if it's happening here. Eh? Yeah, it's okay, thank you very much. Just glad it's a good day. Okay, and I hope you have uh, a good day morning now. Aye? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Right. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 getting support for the Archie Foundation, Clan, and also, of course, the Royal Aberdeen Children's Hospital. And, of course, fundraisers like you. And I realised one thing after meeting Corin. Her dreams is far bigger. She just wants to be back home with her family and having fun, meeting friends, drawing pictures because it's the simple things in life that matters. And in Corin's hope, unicorns exist. You may be in a seen them, but Corin has. And just for one day, Corin's back where she belongs. Oh. How does it feel to be back in your own room? Good. Good. And what are you looking forward to doing today? Playing with my dolls. Playing with your dolls in another house? Mm -hmm. Aye, have you missed that? Aye. Aye. Is there anything else you've missed? Your bed. Your bed. Lots of unicorns. And anything else? Sustain. And fast sustain. My cat. Your cat. Uh, we'll maybe see if we can get your cat later. Get her lots of cuddles.